Hi, yogis. Welcome. Namaste. Let's all stand up, please. I'm going to <clears throat> rearrange the flow of today's practice. And let's get moving. Let's get in our bodies. Let's work some hip openers. So that way, when we sit for a long time at the end, we might have a little bit more space and we may be able to sit with a little more ease. And that will help us as we dive head first into our chakra color meditation. So the format for today's class is let's get moving. Let's do some yoga. All right. Yeah. Feeling good. And then we'll sit for a nice long meditation and then shavasana. And then we might just dissolve into pure beam particles of light. No promises on that one, but hey, anything is possible. Okay, let's get to it, shall we? Perfect. Yeah, as I requested, please stand up with me here, and then we'll find ourselves, Tadasana. <clears throat> and let's have our three deep breaths right here. Deep breath in. And a big sigh, let it go. Deep breath in. Big sigh, let it go. Deep breath in. Big sigh, let it go. <clears throat> we can stand still and breathe. Very nice, friends. Splinker eyes open. Hands sweep up and overhead. <clears throat> and then bring your hands. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little tickle in my throat to heart center. Inhale, hands go up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale and up. Exhale to center. Inhale and up. Hook your thumbs, hips to the left. Up and over, hips to the right. Back and forth from side to side. And you can place a little bend in your knees and feel a stretch in your side bodies and outer hip flexors. That's good. Hands sweep down. C-grip. Hands to thighs. Standing cat and cow. Arch back. Round back. Inhale, arch back. Or exhale, round back. Heart peeks through, peekaboo, and then round and bow in, back and forth. Nice and easy, but starting to find that there's a lot of movement in our spine. And this movement is so good. One of my favorites to ever do, just because we can do this, and it provides a myriad of benefits. Nice. Stand up. Take the grip to your hips. Now we'll go side to side again. Hips left, hips right. And as you go hips to one side, think about leaning heart forward and pressing your hips over. I feel it somewhere in my outer hip. Okay, yeah, wow, there it is. Back and forth. Nice. Hips to the left, heart forward, hips back. Over to the right, little bend in knees as you go hips forward, heart back. Hips to the left. You can move through straight legs if that feels okay. Full circles in your hips because it feels really good. Very nice, let's go the opposite direction. Excellent. As you're going through, notice if uh, you're gritting your teeth. Are you a teeth gritter? I'm a teeth gritter when I'm stuck in traffic. I'll just all of a sudden observe myself and I'm like, oh, why does my jaw hurt so much? Oh, because I'm gritting my teeth. And so we all tend to hold tension. Let's go ahead and stand up. Shake it out. Nice. Feet together, knees together. We can roll our knees in circles around our ankles. Yes, to finish that thought, we all tend to hold tension somewhere. Some of us squeeze our fists, grit our teeth, crunch our belly so it's always tight, bunch our shoulders up by our ears. We have different places, different people that is. And I recognized in myself that gritting my teeth is totally where I go. So if I'm ever feeling stressed or anything, I just check in. Uh, how's my face? How are my teeth? And let's go ahead and stand up, shake out right leg, shake out left leg. And when I notice that I'm doing that, I can say, okay, 
I'm feeling a little bit stressed. Let me soften my face. <sighs> Usually I take a really wide mouth, deep breath in because it just relaxes all the muscles in my face. Shake out your arms. Very nice. <clears throat> all right, shake out your legs and your arms. It's a full body shake out. And start to shake out your shoulders and maybe your hips a little bit too. You can just shake out your head. You can throw your arms around. It's okay, it's cool, nobody's looking. You could just go for it, just shake out. If you wanna bounce around too, you can just bounce out. It's cool, it turns into a little bit of a dance, maybe sometimes. Okay, very nice. Tadasana, deep breath in. Big sigh. Feel the energy in your body. Very nice. Okay, let's keep moving, grooving. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, a little bend in knees. Dive, forward fold. Hands to your shins, half lift. Inhale, exhale, fingertips. Palms down, feet back. Knees down, forward down, chaturanga. Shoulders towards each other. Little lift, cobra. Exhale, reverse. Little lift, cobra. Exhale, reverse. Little lift, cobra. Strong arms, over knees, over toes. Downward dog. Some pedals and pushes. Sway side to side. Spread your fingers, feel the weight shift, relax your neck. Good. Static hold in your down dog. Deep breath in. Big sigh. Knees bend, look to the front. Step, step, toes spread, halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's rise, hands up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Hands down. Really good. Again. Inhale up. Exhale. Dive. Forward fold. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale. Feet back. Plank. Forward down. Chaturanga. Back bends. Lower down. Push up. Press up. Downward facing dog. Step your feet into position. Very nice. Let's go right leg up to the sky. Inhale. Three points. Right foot steps forward, left knee lowers, low lunge, hands up. Very good. Deep breath in. Big sigh. Right hand, right thigh, left arm up and over. Good. Length from left knee to hip to shoulder, two fingers. Hinge, left hand to the floor, twist over to the right, core strong. Lean into your right foot, reach your right hand up, you can look through your neck. Very, very nice. Breathe. So good. Right hand down inside of right foot. Heel toe right foot over. Lizard lunge. Now you may need to step your left knee back to create a little extra space. When you do that, hips go forward down. Down to palms, maybe to forearms. If this is early in the morning, we kind of dove straight into yoga. You might not have your forearms on the ground where you normally do, and that's okay. In fact, that makes perfect sense to me. My forearms can usually go down to the floor, but my body's a little bit tight right now, and they can't. Bodies are different in the morning and the evening, and they change moment to moment, minute to minute, hour to hour, day by day, and all of that good stuff. Wherever you are, go ahead and give your hips a little left, right. We're not as deep as we can in the posture, but we're in it and we're somatically moving through our range to find a depth in our hips. Okay, hands come back, tuck your left toes, downward facing dog for some pedals and some pushes. Nice, left leg goes up, three-legged. Okay, back in that right leg again, but briefly, step left foot forward, right knee goes down. Rise up, hands high, square hips. Low lunge. Nice. Core strong, breathe. Left hand finds left thigh, right fingertips. Reach over to the left. Length, right knee, right hip, right shoulder. Excellent. Find all that sweet length. So good. Right hand to the floor. Twist over to the left. Very nice. Breathe. Breathe. Left hand goes up, if this feels okay. Stretch across your body, yes. 
Left fingertips down, scoot, 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 left foot over, walk, 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 right knee back, untuck right toes. Let's come up with a lift, and then lower down the palms, hands forward, forearms, wherever it is, relax your neck. Lower your body, your hips lower towards your left heel, and your heart lowers towards the floor, and then we can bring this little bit of left, right, side to side movement, motion into our hips. Yes, so good. Breathe. All right. Hands walk back up. Tuck right toes. Step your left foot back. Downward dog. Yes. Knees bend. Look to the front. Opposite foot steps. Step. Feet in line with hips. Toes spread. Hands to shins. Halfway lift. Lean forward. I'm not sure what that looks like. Look, uh, look here. I'm on my heels. I spread my toes and I lean forward. And it brings my hips in line with my heels. Now I can press the weight into my toes, but I do plant toes or heels down. And then from hips can hinge forward. Maybe fingertips are on the floor or if you've got your block, you can change it to a lower setting. Wherever it is, this is a deep hamstring stretch, symmetrical because both legs are getting the stretch at the same time. Good, breathe. Breathe. Okay, to move out of it, place a bend in your knees and then unroll. You can let your arms dangle. Unroll all the way up. Hands sweep up, big stretch up. And then hands to heart center and down. Really, really nice, friends. Inhale, hands up. Chair pose. Hips back, knees back. Heart lifts. Hands up and overhead. Shift weight into your right foot. Pick your left foot up. Press your right leg to straight. Standing march. Left hand, left knee. Left hip opens. A little bend in right knee. Step back. Warrior two. Adjust your feet. Heel to arch or heel to heel. Right fingers, right knee, right toes to the front. Yeah, really good. Lower your hips down a little bit more. Nice. Okay. Right leg to straight. You can turn your left toes in. Reach, 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 reach. And then tip. Triangle pose. Through our sequence of standing postures, because they're all really great for helping to open our hips and our legs and our heart and our minds, all of the things. Yes. Good. Right knee bends, sweep left arm behind. Continue to bend in your right knee as your right arm comes up and over. Reverse warrior. Really, really good, friends. Right forearm, right thigh. Left arm up and over. Be here for a breath in and a breath out. Left hand sweeps in front. Pivot right foot, wide-legged forward folds. Toes spread, hands forward, halfway lift. So again, we're bringing our hips in line with our heels. And then from here, we can hinge, bend, walk hands down underneath, lower the weight of your head, shake it out a little bit. Really, really good, friends. Deep breath in. Big sigh. Nice. Pivot towards the front of your mat. Left knee stays lifted. Left hand plants. Twisted lunge. Right hand up to the sky. Good. Right knee hugs in towards left shoulder. You're doing so good. Nice. Reach your right hand forward. Launch forward. Fingertips forward. Place your left knee behind your right knee and start to sink back into the strength of your right foot. Right hand can find your, uh, can lift to right below your heart, your face. Left hand can match it. Yogi curtsy. Hands together, left knee tucked behind right knee, balanced on one foot, right knee bent. Now mega press, left knee comes up, standing march. So good. Right leg is burning. Okay, chair pose. You can stamp it out a little bit. Really, really nice, friends. Shift weight over into your left foot. Right knee comes up with you. I will move to the other side. Excellent. Right hand, right knee. Right hip opens, little bend in left knee. Step your right foot back. Warrior two. So good, adjust your feet like so, as is necessary. Lower down, yes, perfect. And then 
straighten your left leg. You can turn your right heel in a little bit. Reach, reach, reach. And then tip. Left hand down, right hand up. Open up across your chest, across your thighs. Hips are parallel to the long edge. And you're in it. You're doing it. You're breathing. It's great. Okay, sweep into reverse. Left knee bends. So left knee bends, right hand goes behind. Left arm up and over, core strong. Reach through those fingers. Yeah, breathe. 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 Left forearm to left thigh. Right arm reaches up and over. Full extension. Long from right foot through right hip through right shoulder through right fingers. You're doing so good. Nice. And then right shoulder also rolls open. Right hand sweeps down. Feet parallel. Let's take our heels in. Forearms or palms to our thighs. Left shoulder dips down, look over to the right, lean into it, twist right, inhale center. Right shoulder dips down, look over to the left, twist into it, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more time, doot, and doot, good. Start to lower your hips, hands forward. It's like you're in that leapfrog. If you wanna bounce your hips a couple times, that can be pretty nice. Hands walk over to the front of your mat. Adjust your feet. Right hand plants, left hand, left thigh. Twist. Left hand goes up, up, up to the sky. Sky, sky. Breathe. Left fingertips reach forward. Press into your right toes. You can launch. It's kind of like we're going to supported warrior three, but keep your left knee bent. Tuck your right knee behind your left knee. Sit back into your left foot. Weight is in your left toes, but also grounded through your left heel. Right hand to your face. You can keep the support of left hand to your face. You can keep the support of right hand, or you can bring your right hand up to match. Breathe. Yogi curtsy. Balance on one foot. Right knee tucked behind left. Palms together in your heart center. Heart lifted. Keep your heart lifting. And press. Standing march. From march, chair pose. Hips back, knees back, hands up. Very nice. Let's take our feet a step wide and then lower down. Malasana. Yogi squats. Toes are turned out. Hips are lowered. Heart is lifted. Chin into chest. Breathing deep. Yes. So good. Lift your hips open. Good. Breathe. Breathe. Very nice, friends. Lean forward into your hands. Press into them. Step, step. Feet in line with hips. Hands to shins. Halfway lift. Lift your heart. Inhale, breath. Exhale, spread your toes. Hinge forward, fold. Weight of your head drops down. Little bend in knees. Unroll all the way up. Hands sweep up. Hands to heart center. Hands down. Nice. Deep breath in. Big sigh. Really, really good, friends. Really, really good. Okay, let's sweep our arms up. Inhale. Chair pose. Shift weight into your right foot. Left knee lifts. Good. Hands to heart center. Bend your right knee, heart leans forward, left knee tucks behind right knee. Yogi curtsy. Take this one a little bit lower. Bend, 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 bend. Nice. Step your left foot back. Crescent lunge. Core strong, reach hands forward, press into left toes. Launch, warrior three. Heart can lower down, left hip can lower down. You can have your hands on a block or on the floor. Both are good options. So good. Warrior two. Deep breath in. Big sigh. Windmill your hands. Pivot left foot. Step right foot out. Lizard lunge. Right toes, right knee towards. Two o'clock, heart lifts up. If it feels okay, go ahead and walk your forearms all the way down to the mat. Look at that. I couldn't make it before, but now the body is opened, but still kind of around in my back. So I think heart lifted, 
hips lowered. This actually feels a little bit better. Good, breathe. <clears throat> Let's walk our hands back, left fingertips turn out towards the left side. Right hand goes to your right thigh, twist right. Lean your heart back, so, so good. Bend left knee, reach back for left foot with right hand. If you can find the bind, you might want to grab a yoga strap. If you have this, hips lean forward, heart leans back. It can be pretty intense, especially on big old strong quads that I think everyone has because we're all walkers. We do things with our legs. Nice. Sweep. Right hand down around in front. Palms plant. Left knee lifts. Right leg underneath for pigeon pose. Pigeon isn't in our wheelhouse, in our chicken coop, maybe we'll say. Then we can lower down into deer pose, right hip down. Of course, you can roll onto your back for a figure four pose. Whichever version you've taken, let's lean into it. Hinge forward. Yes, so good. Forearms down, forehead that can move towards the floor and really start to soften. And if it feels okay, you could give your hips a little wiggle, 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 side to side. Little wiggle, 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 side to side. Really good. Breathe. Breathe. Inhale. Let's come up. Up onto our hands. Go ahead, sweep over onto your right hip. Swing your left leg around in front. Hips adjust. Cross-legged forward fold. Let's think hands up to the sky or hands planted by our sides. And then we can start to lean forward. You may want to walk your hips out in a way that feels really, really good. Hands down, maybe forearms down. Let's be in our hips, not so much in our back but more heart lifted, lean forward so it's in our hips wherever and however that shape looks like for you. Yes, that's the best. I love it. Breathe. Breathe. Nice. Let's come up. We can timber, roll all the way back into a happy baby posture. You might have rolled off the back of your mat, and that is okay. And grab your feet, or your ankles, or your calves, or your hips, or your thighs, or whatever. And then rock this around a little bit left, right, and side to side. Go ahead and release. You can hug onto your hamstrings. Sweep your feet around. Hands to the front. Crawl your knees to the back. Cow-shaped arch. Find that curve. Forearms to forehead down, heart melts, puppy dog posture. Heart lowers down, breathe deep into your shoulders, breathe deep into your back, breathe deep into your hips. Really good, friends. Excellent. Let's come up. <clears throat> Walk hands back. Give yourself some space. Downward dog. Big pedals and pushes. So you can really see, whoa, right hip is pretty open. We'll walk our feet doo -doo 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 -doo, up to the front, spread toes, hands to shins, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, full forward fold. Rise, hands high and up to the sky. And then let's bend knees. Shift weight into your left leg. Press it up, standing march, hands to heart center, bend left knee, heart pitches forward but stays lifted, right knee tucks behind left, lower down, yogi curtsy. From this deep bend, step right foot back, sweep arms up, crescent lunge, really nice. Crescent lunge leans forward, we can lift off, heart can stay lifted, or we can start to hinge, Forward, 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 hands to your block, or hands to the floor, hands to the mat, hands to heart center. Lots of options when we move into these warrior three shapes. 
Left knee bends, warrior two. Adjust feet like so, that's good. Settle in, deep breath in. Big sigh. Yes, sweep, hands down. Pivot, 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 left foot over to the left side. Right knee scoots back, lizard lunge. We can start up high with our hips lower down. We can walk forward with our hands lower. Down two forearms, relax the weight of our head. And settle into the sweet sensations, into the nice feelings that we've got going on here. Yeah, it's good. Breathe. Breathe. Inhale, let's come up. Right fingertips, turn over towards the right side, left hand to left thigh. Now here we can keep our right knee where it is and lean back and find this nice little back bend shape. We can bend our right knee, reach for our right foot with our left hand. And if we have this, if we go, go ahead and find this connection, hand to foot, hips forward, left shoulder open, heart forward. Good. And this is a pretty deep stretch. Whoa, my right hip flexor, my right quadricep, my left shoulder, my core, my back, a lot of things. This is my favorite posture. Lizard lunge with the connected foot to hand. There's just so many things happening in my body right now that I can barely register. So deep breathing to just feel all of it. Release, foot to the floor, hands down, pick up right knee. We can sweep left leg underneath. For pigeon pose, we'll walk our right leg back. If we get our left foot over there, we can lower down left hip to the floor, hinge over our left leg here. Really, really, really good. Nice. Forearms down, head and neck relax. Hinge, breathe. Maybe you can let something go. Maybe you can notice where your tension is here, in your face. In your hands. In your body. Wherever it is, take a deep breath into that space and go for the deep release. Let it go. Supported by a intentional deep breath. Very nice, friends. Let's start to make our way up, up onto our hands. Left hand can support down the left hip if we're not there already. Right leg swoops over. Hips adjust. Right leg crosses in front of left. Cross at your mid shins. Notice my heels and my hips are away from each other. Lift lower. We can keep the flat back. Hinge forward into the realm of possibility and dive in. Find a nice amount of stretch with heart lifted, folded at your waistline to find a hip stretch, opening hips, hip opening feeling that you can breathe into. Very nice. Let's start to make our way up. Lean back, uncross legs, step them out. <clears throat> okay, this one's just kind of for fun because we can have fun with our yoga practice. Hopefully it's all fun, but sometimes, whew, okay, we could have extra emphasis on fun. So 
seated happy baby where we're balanced on our hips. This is a balancing posture. We'll bring our feet in and then pick our feet up. This really feels like a baby pose. If your feet are too far away, you can clasp hands underneath of your thighs, your hamstrings. If you've got this, find your heart lifted. Just think about your happy baby pose, but balanced on your hips. And then maybe you can bring your right heel in and straighten your left leg, and then switch. Bring your left heel in, straighten your right leg. Maybe you can bring your knees in and then straighten both legs and lift up. And what tends to happen if you're trying this is if you go a little bit too far back, it's a roll back and a roll forward, and that's okay because that's part of the fun. It happens. It's probably happened to you at home, and that's awesome. Hopefully there's a little chuckle, a little giggle, and it is all good. Let's go ahead and center ourselves on our mats. Bring our knees into circles in one direction. Massage out your spine and your back in all different kinds of ways and places. Let's go in the opposite direction. Arms out, knees to the left, and then up and over to the right. To the left, and then up and over to the right. Nice. One more time. Side to side. Good. Let's roll up over knees, back into puppy dog. So stretched out, find that cow-shaped arch in your back, forehead to the mat, forearms down, heart melts. A little sway left, right, side to side. Hands walk back. Tabletop, cat and cow. Side to side, left, right, left, right. Bring them both together, barrel rolls. Spine moves in these nice circular motions. Opposite direction. Good. Knees wide, toes touch, child's pose. Take it down for a moment. Hmm. So good, friends. Let's find our cushion. So we've got our meditation cushion here. Can get set up. Real nice. <clears throat> in our seat. The one that we like to sit in. The best one. Great. And we'll be here for a little bit. So we can really think about getting nice and comfortable. Settling in. Okay. Wow. I hope your hips feel good. I hope your spine feels good. I hope that the intention of the movement was to provide a seat or a posture that feels more comfortable that you can sit in for a longer time. Now, again, we're not statues. You don't have to be. If you sit still like a statue, that's okay. If your legs start to go numb and you need to stretch them out and shake them out, you can do this and still have your eyes closed and meditate. It's a little bit distracting, but maybe not as distracting as enduring significant amount of pain or if your foot goes numb and suddenly you can't feel it. That's a thing. That can happen. That's also a meditation to just meditate on the pain and not move, but not one that we're practicing today. All right, so we've got, I'm going to switch. My preferred crossing is left in front of right. <clears throat> so we've got our meditation, our pelvis is titch pelvis is pitched forward and our heart is lifted up nice sitting nice and easily okay chakra meditation i've touched briefly on chakras but 
Chakras are energy centers in a subtle energy system. So we could think of this as the metaphysical parallel to the physiological and scientifically understood anatomy of the body. So in our current world of anatomy, there is the circulatory system and the pulmonary system and the excretory system, the skeletal system, the muscular system. All these systems create our bodies. And, and there's osmosis of water across our cells and blood brings fresh oxygen to our muscles. And we know all of this because over the past couple hundred years, doctors have dissected humans and animals, and we can literally see what is going on in the human body. Well, thousands of years ago, back to uh, the Vedas and then after the Vedas, so we're talking about pre-classical, classical yoga, there were these, and this was before we had an understanding. We didn't know what went on underneath of the skin, underneath of the skin, but there was an understanding of subtle energy pathways. Very similar to, we haven't been able to dissect the mind. There's no scientific research that says the mind exists in this place. Consciousness comes from this place. But we have it. I have it. I'm speaking to you now. I'm aware of myself and of you and what's going on. That is still within the realm of subtle energy. Chakras are in the realm of subtle energy. There's chakras, energy centers inside of your body. There are auras, energy fields outside of your body. And very similar to uh, electricity and magnetism, there are points, there are channels, and there are fields. And the same thing in subtle body. There are points, there are channels, and there are fields. An aura is a field. A chakra is a point. The pathways between them are channels, the nadis. And we've discussed about those, but nadis are energetic channels. So there are seven chakras inside of us. And they start at the base of our spine, in our sacrum, our solar plexus, our heart, our throat, third eye, crown, tip top of our head. And when we align our chakras, there's these two channels that start at the base and they intersect each other at each one, all the way up to the top of your head. And when you can activate all of your channels and bring up what is called your dormant kundalini energy all the way through to the top, then you have reached a status of nirvana and enlightenment. It's a way of channeling your energy. Whoa, what the heck am I talking about? Okay, I know. It's taken me a long, wa long ways too to get to this point where I truly not only believe it, but I feel it. I feel it. We can feel energies. You know when someone walks in and they're sad and all of a sudden you're like, whoa. You're picking up on that field that that person is emitting. Or when somebody's really joyous and really stoked, you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, let's do this, okay. I wasn't so happy until you walked in the room, but for whatever reason I am now, you're picking up on their field. And you might be picking up on mine right now. Okay, we're going to get to this, I promise. So, subtle body energy. It's a whole branch of yoga and meditation uh, classical yoga that deals with energy centers that cannot be measured by science. Alpha waves and beta waves, absolutely. We can see that that is, there are neurological effects that are happening in the body from meditators. Meditators have been studied, but we study what we can with an EEG. We look at their brain waves and we say, okay, this is what's going on. What we're talking about here is something that has been practiced and communicated and passed down for thousands of years. It's a way of viewing our subtle anatomy. Okay, great. So we'll meditate on each one. There's seven of them. 
they have seven colors. They correspond to the spectrum of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And they have certain properties with them. And we'll spend about a minute <laughs> on each one. And the process here, go ahead, shake your legs out. I know I've been talking for a while already. And the process here is to sit and meditate and picture the color in the space and that's it. There, will may, there, there may be other benefits that you're seeing. You may feel warmth, temperature differences, vibrations. You might have an increased sense of awareness, maybe high energy. It might feel something release and let go. You might want to cry. You might want to laugh. Who knows? Anything can happen. And that's the beauty of these kind of things is we're working with subtle energies and they're real. Energy is real. What's your energy level like? Oh, I'm feeling pretty low energy. What are you talking about? You're not talking about mass times the speed of light squared. For sure, no. You're talking about something else. You're talking about subtle energies inside of your body. Okay, let's begin. <coughs> We've got our eyes closed, seated up nice and tall. Deep breath in. Big sigh, let it go. Starting at the very bottom of the energy channels, our first chakra is the base chakra, the root chakra. And you could think about this one as your home, your protection, your comforts, your foundation. The color is red and it's located at the very bottom of your spine where your sit bones are connected to your cushion or the floor. This is the location of your root chakra. This is a place of self-awareness, physical strength, security. You can focus on your root, first chakra and the color red. Deep breath in, big sigh. The next chakra is your sacral chakra. And the color is orange. It's just above the root chakra at the base of your spine. And it exists in the same place that your sex organs exist. The sacral chakra is representative of respect, creativity, fertility, pleasure. It is a very creative space. The sacral chakra is orange and you can meditate in this space. Deep breath in, big sigh. Moving up into the solar plexus, the region in your spine, about where your belly button is. And the color here is yellow. Third chakra, color yellow. 
in your solar plexus. And here we can think about hunger and productivity, processing. We can think about our self-worth and value. There is also a great strength that exists inside of your solar plexus, your third chakra, with the color yellow. And we can meditate on this one. Breath in, big sigh, let's move up from our solar plexus into our heart, our heart chakra is the color green, and the heart chakra represents love, kindness, compassion, virtue, generosity, Abundance exists and overflows from the space in your heart chakra. And we can bring our awareness to our heart with the color green and meditate on anything that we observe in this space. Breath in, big sigh, the fifth chakra is the throat chakra, the color is blue, and you can visualize, you can picture the color blue emanating, vibrating, pulsing in your throat, removing any stagnant energy, inviting in any positive energy. And this area is about communication, self-expressiveness. It's about being who you are, your identity, and how we discuss and listen and share that with others and ourself. The throat is all about communication. We can meditate on our fifth chakra, the color blue in our throat.
breath in. Big sigh. The sixth chakra is the third eye, the brow, located between your two eyebrows, right in the center, back into the center of your mind. The third eye is about vision, drawing on inner strength. It's about awareness and mindfulness, seeing clearly, connected into truth, what's real, what's present. The color here is indigo. Your third eye, sixth chakra, the color indigo. You can meditate on truth in this space. Breath in, big sigh. Let's move our awareness now to the tip top of our head, our crown chakra. And the color here is violet. And this is knowledge, self-knowledge, awareness of the self and your source. It is Nirvana, enlightenment. It is peace that can wash all the way over you and be shared with other beings, humans around you. True peace. Violet in our crown chakra, the tip top of our head. Breath in, big sigh. Now before we take it down, let's go through each one briefly. Your root chakra, base of your spine, the color red. Breathe into your root. Your sacral chakra located at your sacrum, the color orange. Third chakra, your solar plexus, deep inside your tummy, the color yellow. Fourth chakra, your heart chakra, the color is green.
fifth chakra in your throat, a blue luminescence. Your third eye is the sixth chakra and the color is indigo. Violet is your seventh chakra, tip top, the crown of your head. Maybe you can feel all these colors together, the entire diversity of visible light, the spectrum of the rainbow. Deep breath in, big sigh. At this point, I welcome you to make your way into Shavasana. Take it down, settle in, get so comfy and exist here for as long as it feels right. I'll be here to bring you out momentarily, but for right now, you are welcome to drift away. Let all the benefits of whatever the meditation brought absorb into your energetic bodies you can feel the energetic shift. We don't have to explain it, but we can observe it. Whatever you are observing, that's beautiful. Let's take a little while, a little bit to close in our final rest. Shavasana.
deep breath in. Big sigh. Stretch across your body, huge stretch. Arms up, arms out, point through toes, stretch through fingers. Ugh. And you can roll over to your right side, left side, press yourself up, come back to your seat. We've been here for a while, I know, but it's nice. Handy dandy seat, thank you. Let's bring our hands together. This is an acknowledgement of subtle energy. Still understanding what and how these energies are and move and the recognition that they exist inside. There's something there. Even if we can't explain it, the magic of life is real. So thank you so much. Thank you for being open to this aspect of yoga philosophy, of meditation, of subtle energy. Namaste.